The Arrhenius equation, which I'm writing now, can be used to find the activation energy, the minimum energy required for a reaction to occur. K is the rate constant. A is the Arrhenius constant, which is related to collision geometry and frequency, to be honest with you. Ea is the activation energy, minimum energy required for a reaction to occur. R is the gas constant, 8.314 in the standard units. And the temperature, don't forget to measure it in Kelvin, or it won't work. So writing this equation out again, we're going to try and turn it into a y equals mx plus c version. So by natural logging the whole thing, I get this equation, which has similarities to y equals, well, there's m, the gradient. x, well, that's the inverse of t, or 1 over t. And C is the intersection with the y-axis, that will be ln A. So if I do ln K against 1 over T, that will give me a graph. Normally the points will go in this kind of orientation. Once I put them there, I'm going to try and draw a line of best fit. Oh, try, oh okay, there we go. From this line of best fit, if I now extrapolate out to the intersection with the y-axis, that gives me C, which actually is ln, ln A, the Arrhenius constant. And the gradient of this line is negative activation energy over the gas constant, R. And just to remind you, the gradient is rise, vertical, over run, which is the horizontal. Easy. Who said Arrhenius was difficult? <laughs>